So what's up guys, welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. And welcome back to another one. You know, this series is going to be quite long from what I'm seeing. And, you know, I'm just hoping that I finish it <laughs> in less than two weeks. Because Cyberpunk is coming up. And, you know, I got to start on that as soon as it comes out. But yeah, with that being said, you know, we're jumping straight into this video because there's no time to waste, like always. So let's get it. All right, guys. So we're jumping. Oh, is that a, yeah, that's an enemy. We're jumping straight into this. Uh, if many or if some of you guys watched my I previous video, Baldis must have got to them. you guys would have seen that. You know, after all the crazy shit that we went through, oh, what's going on here? We decided to go after Ruud's clan and, you know, just finish off the entire clan. But, in order for us to do that, alright, in order for us to do that, we needed some, some help. So we enlisted the Reef, aka the Sheriff. And that's what we did in our previous video, you know, and I'm, I'm a little behind, not behind, but just lost. Just because of the fact, you know, I had to catch up on everything because of the fact that I have not played, what am I doing, this game for like the last three days. All of my previous videos have been, they were all pre-recorded. And yeah, like all I've been doing, you know, I've been, been working for the last few days, so I haven't had as much time as I had before to record. But I'm back. I'm going to try to knock this game out. Before Cyberpunk comes out, <laughs> word of your actions in Theoborg has spread like wildfire. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us, its men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? Yes, I am. I am. Our target is Bur Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the Seagate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Eivor. For a long time you lived in fear. Your house is razed. Your fields scorched. Now your chance has come. Fight to be free of this pain. Fight to be free of fear. Freedom! 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 Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan once and for all. Remember the dream I spoke of? You sail through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams, 
life. Maybe they are one and the same. All right, so we're using finners or fins, um, longship to crash into the castle. I guess they put a whole bunch of explosives in it, and I'm not. Oh yeah, this is his. This is the ship. I did not notice that, but it's pretty cool that I'm the one that gets to. I'm glad it's not my own ship. Long ship. <laughs> Just imagine destroying your own long ship and then me as a player having to rebuild it or something. <laughs> Look at all these ships, man. We're ready to go into battle. That's a pretty sick shot. Steady. Hold course. Ready yourselves to brace, men. We bring Helheim to our enemies. How nice! They greet us with some of their own from the air. Holy shit. I wonder how this is gonna work. Do I just crash into it and we all die? <laughs> or are we gonna jump off? <laughs> Let's see. Does not give a fuck. Everything was going to shit. He was just standing there. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. I don't even know why that thought went through my head. The fact that I said that I wasn't sure if we we're gonna jump off the long ship or just stay on it and die. Like, what? What am I thinking? See, that's one thing that I noticed about the the Valkyrie oh shit ability is that if Jesus Christ is that if there's more than oh my god more than one enemy it, it knocks them all down which is pretty cool comes in handy even though it doesn't do, it doesn't do a lot of damage it does come in handy oh shit Wait, I mean, I burn myself. Oh my god, these freaking executions are fucking crazy. They always impress me. <laughs> Whenever I breach doing this, oh shit. I never know if I'm going back 
and off, <laughs> like backwards and off. So I, I sometimes I just get confused and end up doing this for way longer than, I'm, than what I'm supposed to. All right, we're in. That's the second door. One shot kill, perfect. This guy's burning. Stomp. God dang! Hold up, let me not die. <laughs> this is how, this is how you guys know that I haven't played for the last three days. The fact that I'm getting beat up this bad. <laughs> well this, well Our battle plan has legs. Keep the pressure. We'll beat the Ravens. One more blow should do it. Come on, let's get it, let's get it. This is it. Alright, one more. <laughs> this is it right here. And wow. This one is taking a little longer than the rest. Here we go. My boy asshole is alive. I didn't mention before that I did not think he was dead. <laughs> but I'm happy to see him alive. I'm happy to confirm it. Now we're gonna go. Oh my god. We're gonna go have a one on one with the one and only Ruid, who also happens to be alive. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave those freaking enemies behind and just go after him. Only reason I was fighting them was to just get my. Oh no, he had a wolf. Wait, hold up, I got a wolf too. Wolf on wolf. That's <laughs> what I like to see. Flee, Ruined, while pity restrains my blade. Oh wow, his sword is on fire. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's an ability that I could probably, oh my god, gain at some point. I wish I had some arrows. Arrows in here? No, no. Oh my god. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Shit, I should have should have gotten ready before I came up here. East Anglia will have its king, and it will not be you. They should be ruled, wolf kissed. Made thralls, not treated as equals. We are better than this, than all of them. Do not drag me down to the sewers you wallow in. For all your efforts, only the cold staff of East Time awaits you. Valhalla is destiny. I guess a game might do the nail for 
a Saxon! This Saxon of all! He has an abundance! Thank you. You'd throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? I agree with Eivor on this one. You know, I usually go for the kill, but I wonder what will happen if I just take a different approach. So I, I'm just gonna let him live and respect Aswell's decisions. Cause like Eivor said, it is his land. The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today, and so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor, including you. Thank you. Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Veneer? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. Oh, this is pretty cute. Feels like I <laughs> I'm not gonna speak ahead of time, but let me fast travel where I speak. I'm not gonna speak ahead of time, but you know, so far, based on what just happened, what the hell is this thing? Wait. Wait, hold up. My, what the hell is this thing? I'm, I feel like I'm going blind. Huh? Oh, here it is. It's barely freaking visible. Like I was saying, though, you know, I, I, things seem to be going right so far. You know, Aswood being alive, 
us capturing Ruid and now the wedding. It all seems to be going way too good. But I won't complain though, because Aswold, I feel like Aswold, as of now, he needs a happy ending after everything that he's been through. So <laughs> let's go attend his wedding. My lord. Thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Eivor, I'm so glad you've made it. I'd just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. I told you I would see you crowned, and now here we are. Without you, I'd be dead. Another wasted hope for East Anglia. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife. This man and wife, I name you. Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. With this lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Alrighty. I thought Eivor was gonna ask Finnair to, you know, join our... our settlement. Let's have a drink. Should I dance with the kids, or I'm just gonna speak to this bad boy right here? Your fist is without ale. 
Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories, and the new king of East Anglia. May his reign be long and good. Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? Hmm, I knew this was going here. <laughs> I'll take him on, though. Let's get it. I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? Oh boy. Um, I usually end up losing this challenge, but I'm just gonna go for it. For the content. <laughs> I accept. Alright, here, here we go. Watch me lose. I'm gonna try to concentrate and see if I could really just beat him. I need that silver. <laughs> Holy fuck. Man, it gets really fast. You really gotta be on point. That's the first time I get through a whole. Oh. Mm. Get through a whole horn without messing up. It's funny how as soon as I was about to say that I messed up. Fuck. Oh no. Holy shit. Come on, I can't mess up. That's the only way I'm... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, I fucked up. Yeah, I lost. I knew I wasn't going to win this. It never happens. And this guy's... Look at him. He doesn't stop. He's just going. Yep, I knew it. But I am stronger. Better luck next time, Wolf Kissed. Now, you owe me some silver. Fine, take it. And just like that? Look at him, he's freaking... Man, this is why I don't drink in real life. <laughs> that could never be me. The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, yeah, I'm not interested, nothing against it, but you know, Eivor already has a girlfriend, so no cheaters over here, man. Sheath your plow sword, bro, dear. I'm not interested. Uh, you, you thought, no, <laughs> no, I wasn't serious. Come on now, drink and be merry. Well ahead of you, friend. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! God, that is so funny. <laughs> That's really how guys be, though. Try to play it off. <laughs> That's mad funny. Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my pots. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. <sighs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this, you drunken loud. All right. 
Oh, and he's drunk. What's the arrow? Come on, you gotta take Jesus. Oh my god. Yes, that's it. Nice, nice, nice. Easy task for the wolf kissed. That was easy. Fairly a challenge. Impressive. Impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Alright, that was quick. Let's see, I lost 130 against his brother, Broder. <laughs> and I gained, oh, I won back 50, so I just lost 80. Not bad. I'll get that back. What is this guy doing? Oh my god, that's Fenir. This guy's thinking about jumping off. What the fuck? How the hell do I get down there? Oh, there you go. The Saxon God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look, the moon. It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now I always felt like Skull or Hati, chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Well, don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything spinny. And this guy got way too drunk. How the hell? I can't just carry him and. What if I just shoot this freaking thing? Oh well, let's try this. You know that story that he was telling You're about. Very strong. You're very large. About Hattie and Skull. It's a pretty cool story, and I actually have a tatted on me. Like, I actually have the wolf and the sun and the moon. All because of Vikings. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike, to our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan. And all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the largest I've ever known. 
He is sturdy. He has wisdom. And he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves. And the king you need. To the good King Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. He... <laughs> <laughs> The sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald, king of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. I challenge you. I accept. Oswald is king, and a king must have a champion. I will fight in his stead. He challenged me, Eivor. Your fight is bigger than this, Lord. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank. And a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arya swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. Man, this guy could not just freaking stay away. And somehow... Somehow he got back his own sword. <laughs> this guy's really a piece of work. I knew this was going way too well to end like this. This freaking guy just had to show up. <laughs> no, why? I'm not. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? What the heck was that? Was that a flame throwing knife? Well, I guess both times I took him out way too fast. <laughs> I wish it had not come to this. So much death, so much anger. What's done is done. You're leaving now. I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. Today I lack both. Eivor, you've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day, I will need you to make good on that alliance. I should find Finia. Say goodbye before I leave. Alrighty, I thought that was gonna be it, but let's go say goodbye to Finnair. Finnair, Finnair, that's his name, Finnair. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta engrave that in my head. Cause there's no way that I keep on calling him Finn. I should just start calling him Phineas from Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Look at him, he's still getting drunk, that's all he does. Jesus Christ. Ah, greetings, Sabor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my things. Yes, that just happened. So, after attacking Ruid's clan at the harbor, the castle, and finding out that the Ruid was alive, we also found out that Oswald is alive, which was great to see. Then we took down Ruid, and he still came back. Oswald got married to Valdis, and Ruid pulled back up and tried to ruin the whole wedding, so we killed him. 
And to top it all off, just like I wanted it to, Avor recruited Finnier to be part of our longship, part of our, of our crew, part of Raven's clan, which is amazing. So with all of that being said and done, and with such a great ending to this part of the storyline, we'll be stopping the video right here. And the next one though, just like just like always, you know, we gotta we gotta go back to our settlement and talk to Ranvi and start a whole new quest. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace, peace. I'm out.